Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open Access with a parameter, how to pass command line arguments when opening Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Chris in the UK, one of my Access developer members. Chris asks, is it possible to pass a user-defined parameter via the command line when opening Access? Yes, Chris, it is definitely possible, and you can use this technique to open access in different modes, depending on what you want to do or even who is accessing it. The easiest way... Now, command line parameters or arguments or switches, they've got a lot of different names. They go way back to the DOS days when you used to type in, like, uh, the name of a program and then slash some options. Well, you can do the same thing with Microsoft Access. Now, the easiest way to do this is to use a shortcut to your database. Here's my actual database file. Let's create a shortcut. Right-click and drag and then drop and then create a shortcut. All right, here's a shortcut to my database. If you're not familiar with Windows shortcuts, you need to take my Windows Basics class. Once you've got the shortcut, open up its properties. Right-click and then come down to Properties. And right here where it says Target, there's the full path and name of my database. After that, put a space. And then it's going to be forward slash CMD. That tells Access the next thing is going to be a command line parameter, space, and then inside of quotes, whatever you want to be. I'll put in here like, hi there. You can do, you can put whatever you want inside that command line parameter. All right, once you got that, hit apply, and then okay. Now when I open up the database with that parameter, we've got to have a way to read it in here. Okay, to read that parameter, we use the command command. <laughs> it's actually a function called command. Now, my main menu here is my startup form that I specified the database. Let's go in here. Let's just, in the on open event for the startup form, do something real simple here. The on open event, where are you? Right there. On open, dot, 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 pick your code builder. Uh, if you haven't taken any of my classes with VBA in them, you might get a, a window up that says, what builder would you want? We're always going to pick the code builder to use VBA. All right. And then in here, let's just do something very simple. Let's just say message box, and then I'll put the word command in there like that, and then ampersand command. Okay, that's all that is. We're gonna message box the word command followed by command. Okay, now let's close this database down, save changes, yes. All right, now if I open up the regular database without the shortcut, I get just command and that's blank because there's no command line parameter sent to it. However, if I open it up with the shortcut, come on, open up. There you go. Command, hi there. And that's how you get a command line parameter or a switch, whatever you want to call it, into your access database. Now that you've got it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can use it to control what form opens up. You can control... Um, things based on the user. You can put the username in that parameter. It's simple security. If you haven't gone through all the steps in the in the uh, the security seminar that I have to set up actual user security, you could set up a separate um, a separate shortcut for each of your users with their name in it. And then, as long as they're not access experts, it's good enough. It'll open up their their uh, their form, put their username in it, and all that stuff. But that is how you send a command line parameter to Microsoft Access. For the members, there's a members-only extended cut edition of this. I will show you how to do stuff with that parameter. I'll show you, first of all, we'll deal with a problem that sometimes comes up when you use a parameter. It sometimes sends extra spaces in there, and you have to be careful to watch for that. But I'll show you how to use the parameter to control what form opens when the database starts. You can open up a different form based on what user is opening the database. I'll also show you how to hide buttons on the main menu so that you know if an admin opens it up you can see everything if not if it's not an admin if it's a normal user you can hide the accounting buttons or whatever based on that parameter switch how do you become a member well just click on that join button down below the video you'll get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos if you're a silver member and up you can see a list of all the different types of memberships that are available on the following menu but don't worry my tech help videos will still be free i'll keep making them as long as you keep watching them Make sure you give me a like 
and share this video if you think any of your friends or colleagues will benefit from it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you'll get notifications by email anytime I release a new video. Subscribing is absolutely free. Make sure you click the show more button down below the video in the description there. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it, but there's lots more extra resources down below there. If you have not yet checked out my Access Level 1 class, it's free. It's three hours long. Check it out. It's on YouTube. It's on my website. It's all the basics of Microsoft Access. Forms, queries, reports, table design, all that stuff. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is also free for members. If you want to see your questions answered in a video just like this one, well, visit my tech help page right there. Also, stop by my website and check out the Access Forum. There's my other cool stuff, Facebook, Twitter. So for me, Richard Rost, and everyone else here at AccessLearningZone.com, I thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.